The Language of Love, Viral Communication Strategies for Healthy Relationships Hello everyone! Welcome to Under Construction. Are you looking for ways to improve how you talk to your significant other? You're lucky then! Today, we're going to talk about the Language of Love, Viral Communication Strategies for Healthy Relationships. Communication is important in all relationships, but especially in loved ones. It can be hard to say exactly how you feel, which can lead to mistakes and hurt feelings. But don't worry, these viral ways of communicating will help you improve your relationships and get closer to your lover. So, let's get started. How to Recognizing Poor Communication Viral Communication Strategies for Healthy Relationships Number 1. Passive Aggressive Behavior You may have been in this situation before. Instead of addressing the problem directly, a friend or lover might have made a snide remark or gone quiet. Passive-aggressive behavior is when someone shows how they feel about someone else in a way that isn't open and honest. Passive-aggressive behavior is hard to spot at first, which is a problem. Even though it might seem like your lover or friend is just being sarcastic or having a bad day, these small comments and actions can add up and hurt your relationship in the long run. So, how can you tell if someone is being passive-aggressive? When someone says something bad, but makes it sound like a joke or a backhanded praise, that's a sign. For example, if your lover says nice outfit in a mocking way, they may be using passive-aggressive behavior to show they don't like what you're wearing. Another sign is when someone tries to avoid conflict by doing things like giving you the quiet treatment or putting things off. If your friend always cancels plans at the last minute or stops replying to your messages, they may be using passive-aggressive behavior to show they are unhappy with the relationship. Passive-aggressive behavior is best dealt with by facing it head-on. Talk to your lover or friend and tell them how their actions make you feel. Encourage them to talk about how they feel in an open and honest way, and work with them to find a solution that works for both of you. Remember that good dialogue is the key to any relationship that works. Passive-aggressive behavior can hurt your relationships with people you care about. Viral Communication Strategies for Healthy Relationships Number 2 Brushing Things Under the Rug One of the most common ways to not talk about anything is to sweep it under the rug. You've probably heard this saying before, but what does it mean? You or your lover brush things under the rug when you don't deal with problems or fights because you hope they will go away on their own. It might seem easy to just ignore the problem and move on, but this can lead to even bigger issues in the future. So, how can you tell if you or your lover is trying to hide something? One sign is when either you or your lover avoid talking about problems that come up in your relationship. Maybe you don't want to talk about a problem because you hope it will go away on its own. Or, you might notice that your lover seems uncomfortable when you talk about certain things, so you avoid them. The problem with sweeping things under the rug is that it can cause anger and unsolved problems to build up. At some point, these problems could lead to a bigger fight or even the end of the relationship. The best way to avoid this is to talk to each other in a good way. When problems come up, don't be afraid to talk about them and support your lover to do the same. Listen to each other's worries and work together to find an answer that works for both of you. Don't forget that good communication is the key to a healthy relationship. Don't hide things because you're afraid of getting into a fight. Instead, talk about things directly and work together to make your relationship better and healthier. Viral Communication Strategies for Healthy Relationships Number 3 Using Aggressive Speech We've all been in arguments where things get heated quickly and we say things we don't really mean. When we say things that are upsetting or scary to our lover on purpose, we are using aggressive speech. We do this to show that we are stronger or in charge. Aggressive speech is bad because it can do a lot of damage to a relationship. When we talk to our lover in an aggressive way, we make a place where people are afraid and don't trust each other. Our lover may start to feel unsafe or ignored, which could make it hard for them to talk to us or even end the relationship. So how can you tell if you or your lover are talking in a rude way? One sign is when you or your lover criticize or make fun of the other person during a fight. You may have called your lover stupid or lazy when you were angry, or, your lover may have done the same to you. Another sign is when you or your lover uses threats or ultimatums to try to get their way. Maybe you've told your lover that you'll leave if they don't do what you want, or maybe they've done the same to you. The best way to avoid offensive speech is to learn how to talk in a healthy way. Take a step back and try to calm down before you speak when you're in the middle of a fight. 
use I statements instead of you statements, and focus on sharing how you feel instead of attacking your lover. Don't forget that good communication is the key to a healthy relationship. Don't let angry words hurt your relationship with someone you care about. Instead, try to build a relationship built on respect, understanding, and open communication. Here are communication pitfalls to avoid. Viral communication strategies for healthy relationships Number 4. The silent treatment. The silent treatment is when one person in a relationship stops talking to the other person as a way to show anger, frustration, or sadness. This can hurt the other person very much because it makes them feel ignored, unimportant, and unwanted. So why do people give the quiet treatment? Sometimes they don't know how to talk about how they feel in a good way. Sometimes they do it to get back at their lover for something they did wrong. No matter why, the quiet treatment is a bad way to communicate and should be avoided. When we don't talk to our lover, we set up a situation where there is tension and distrust. Our lover may feel like they have to be careful around us because they don't know when we'll give them the quiet treatment again. So how can we avoid getting the cold shoulder? First, we have to realize when we're doing it. Take a step back and try to figure out why you are shutting down and not talking to your lover. What gives you the most trouble? Is there a better way to talk about how you feel? If your lover is giving you the quiet treatment, it's important to talk to them and tell them how their actions make you feel. Don't accuse or argue with them. Instead, use I statements and focus on sharing how you feel. Don't forget that talking to each other is the key to a healthy relationship. Don't let your lover's silence hurt the way you feel about each other. Instead, try to build a connection based on open and honest communication, even when it's hard. Viral Communication Strategies for Healthy Relationships Number 5. Bringing Up Past Mistakes. When we bring up a lover's past mistakes, we are basically keeping them hostage to those actions. We are saying, you did this wrong thing in the past, so you must be wrong about everything now. This can make our lover feel like they have to walk on eggshells all the time because they are afraid we will bring up their past mistakes at any point. So why do we keep talking about old mistakes? Sometimes it's because we feel like our lover hasn't really taken responsibility for their past actions or apologized for them. Sometimes it's because we're hurt or angry and want to get back at someone. No matter why, bringing up past mistakes is a bad way to communicate and should be avoided. If we're hurt or angry right now, we should talk about how we're feeling instead of bringing up the past. And if we feel like our lover hasn't really taken responsibility for their past actions or apologized for them, we need to tell them in a healthy way. So how can we avoid talking about mistakes we've already made? First, we have to realize when we're doing it. If you find yourself arguing about the past, take a step back and try to figure out why. What's really getting to you right now? Is there a better way to talk about how you feel? Also, it's important to keep in mind that forgiving is a key part of any good relationship. If our lover has really taken responsibility for their past actions and apologized for them, we should be willing to forgive them and move on. Keeping track of past mistakes hurts the relationship and causes more hurt and pain. At the end of the day, the conversation is all about being in the moment and paying attention to what's going on right now. Let go of the past and work on making your relationship with your lover healthy and productive, one talk at a time. Viral Communication Strategies for Healthy Relationships Number 6. Yelling or Screaming. When we yell or scream, it can make the other person feel attacked or even afraid. It makes the setting hostile, which makes it hard to talk to each other in a healthy way. When we yell or scream at our lover, we're not really listening to them or trying to see things from their point of view. Instead, we're just trying to make our own point, which isn't at all the same thing as talking to each other. So how can we talk to each other without yelling or screaming? One way is to step back and take a deep breath. If we start to feel angry or frustrated, we should take a moment to calm down before carrying on with the talk. This could mean taking a walk around the block, doing some deep breathing routines, or even just counting to 10 before answering. Also, it's important to keep in mind that dialogue goes both ways. If we feel like our lover isn't listening to us or doesn't care about what we have to say, we should tell them that in a cool, assertive way instead of yelling or screaming. At the end of the day, good conversation means respecting our lover's point of view, even if we don't always agree with it. It's about keeping our cool and staying focused, even when we're upset or angry. And it's about making a trusting, respectful setting where both people feel heard and valued.
So the next time you want to yell or scream during a conversation, take a deep breath and remember that real communication is about listening and understanding, not about proving a point or winning a fight. Viral Communication Strategies for Healthy Relationships Number 7. Walking Away. When we leave a talk, we're basically stopping the flow of information. We don't let our lover share their point of view or talk about how they feel, and we don't let them do the same for us. This can make us feel alone and out of touch, which can be very bad for our relationships. So, how can we keep from leaving the conversation? Active listening is one way to do this. This means we should really listen to what our lover is saying and not just wait for our turn. It means asking questions, reviewing what we've heard, and trying to understand our lover's point of view, even if we don't agree with it. Another way to keep from leaving is to take breaks during the conversation instead of ending it totally. If we're feeling overwhelmed or frustrated, it's okay to take a few minutes to calm down, collect our thoughts, and come back to the talk when we're ready. Also, it's important to keep in mind that communicating is a process. It won't be easy all the time, and there will be times when we don't agree with our lover or feel angry. But if we stay in the moment, listen actively, and take breaks when we need to, we can get through these tough times in a way that is polite and helpful. In the end, good communication is all about being willing to talk to our lover, even when it's hard. It's about staying in the moment, even when we're stressed out, and trying to see things from our lover's point of view. So the next time you want to leave a conversation, take a deep breath and remind yourself that real connection means staying present, even when it's hard. Viral Communication Strategies for Healthy Relationships Number 8. Sarcasm and Put-Downs. I get it. Sometimes it can be fun to say something snarky or sarcastic. But in the long run, it will hurt your relationship and cause more problems than it helps. Sarcasm and put-downs are clear examples of verbal abuse. When you use snark, you are basically making fun of or putting down the other person. Even worse is put-downs, which can be very cruel and upsetting. These ways of talking hurt trust and respect, which are important for a healthy connection. So, what else can you do? Well, for starts, try to talk to each other in an open and honest way. Talk to your lover about how you feel if you are upset or angry. Don't use sarcasm or put-downs to talk about how you feel. And if someone says something like this to you, don't respond. Instead, try to tell them how their words make you feel with a cool and confident way. Don't forget that communication is the key to any connection. And if you want your relationship with your lover to be strong and healthy, it's important to avoid communication mistakes like snark and put-downs. Instead, choose things that bring you closer together and help each other. Viral Communication Strategies for Healthy Relationships Number 9 Disrespectful Nonverbal Behavior The way we act when we're not talking is a big part of how we interact with others, and it can either help or hurt our message. Eye rolling, crossing your arms, not making eye contact, or even moving away from the person who is talking are all examples of disrespectful nonverbal behavior. These things can make the other person feel disrespected or uninterested, and they can make them feel like they don't matter. It can also make the situation worse and turn the talk into a heated one that doesn't get anywhere. To escape this trap, we must be aware of our nonverbal actions and how they might be interpreted by others. Being aware of our body language and making an effort to keep open and involve nonverbal cues, like keeping eye contact and an open posture, can help us communicate better and build healthy relationships. Remember that communication is a two-way street, and both what you say and how you act can affect how well you communicate. Let's try to treat each other with respect and pay attention when we're with them to build healthy, positive connections. Here are tips for better communication. Viral Communication Strategies for Healthy Relationships Number 10. Process Your Feelings First. Have you ever been in a heated argument, only to learn later that you didn't know why you were so angry in the first place? Or, you might have said something you didn't mean or didn't say what you wanted to say because you were too emotional. This is why it's important to sort out your thoughts before talking to other people. Processing your thoughts means taking a moment to think about what you're going through and figure out why you're feeling the way you are. It could be something that just happened or something that has been bugging you for a long time. Once you know what's making you feel sad or angry, you can start to deal with them in a healthy way. By giving yourself time to think about how you feel first, you can go into the talk with a clearer mind and a better idea of what you want and need. This makes it easy to talk to each other and come up with solutions that work for everyone. 
it's important to remember that working through your feelings doesn't mean ignoring or stifling them. It's fine to feel angry, sad, or upset. In fact, recognizing and talking about your feelings in a healthy way can be an important part of communicating. But if you take the time to figure out how you feel and work through them before starting a conversation, you can talk in a way that is more useful and helpful. Don't forget that good communication is the key to making and keeping healthy relationships. So, the next time you need to talk to someone, take a moment to think about how you feel. You'll be surprised how much it can change things. Viral Communication Strategies for Healthy Relationships Number 11. Think about timing. Have you ever tried to talk to someone about something important, but they brushed you off or got angry? When it comes to good communication, timing is everything, so it's important to think about the right time and place to have those talks. When you're upset or feeling emotionally, it can be tempting to want to talk to the person right away. However, this usually ends badly. It's important to step back and think about when the talk should happen. Is the other person in a good mood to talk? Is there a time when the two of you can sit down and talk without being interrupted or distracted? It's also important to think about the right time to talk about the problem at hand. For example, bringing up a mistake from the past in the middle of a fight might not be the best way to deal with it. Instead, think about bringing it up later, when you're both less angry and can have a good talk. By thinking about timing, you can make sure that your conversation is effective and helpful. So, the next time you need to have an important chat, take a step back, think about when it should happen, and talk with care and thought. Viral Communication Strategies for Healthy Relationships Number 12 Start with I Statements and Feelings Have you ever been in a conversation that turned into a fight in a hurry? Maybe it was because you started by saying you always do this or you never listen to me. Starting a sentence with you can make the other person feel attacked and put on the defensive, which can throw off the whole exchange. Because of this, using I words can make a big difference. By saying I feel or I think, you show that your thoughts and feelings are your own. It makes the talk less accusatory and more about how the issue affects you personally. For instance, instead of saying you never listen to me, you could say I feel like I'm not being heard when we talk about this. It's a small change in wording that can have a big effect on how the other person understands what you're saying. Starting with I also gives the other person a chance to answer in a more helpful way. They might be more likely to listen and react with empathy if they don't feel attacked. So, the next time you're in a talk that could get heated, try starting with I statements and see what happens. The results may surprise you in a good way. Viral Communication Strategies for Healthy Relationships Number 13 Focus on both being heard and being listened to. When it comes to communicating in a relationship, it's important to both say what you're thinking and feeling and listen to what your lover is saying. It's not enough to just be heard. You also need to be heard. Because of this, it's important to pay attention to both parts of the conversation. Starting with I statements and talking about how you feel can be a good way to get a conversation going in the right direction. But it's just as important to give your lover a chance to say what they think and listen to what they say. This can help you and your lover value and understand each other more. Remember that dialogue goes both ways. It's not just about what you say, it's also about what you hear. So, during your conversations, try to make sure that both you and your lover feel heard and respected. In the long run, this can help make the connection stronger and closer. Viral Communication Strategies for Healthy Relationships Number 14 Make Compromising and Resolution the Goal When it comes to communication in relationships, one of the most important things to remember is that the goal should be to reach a compromise and an answer. It's important to remember that communication isn't just about saying what you want and being heard. It's also about truly listening to your lover and working toward a solution that works for both of you. Some people find it hard to understand what it means to compromise, but it's a key part of good conversation. It means finding a solution where you and your lover are both happy with the end result. It's important not to be too rigid when you talk to people. Instead, you should try to find ways to meet in the middle. It takes time and work to work out problems in a relationship, and it's not always easy. It can be tempting to only care about being right or winning a fight, but this way of thinking can hurt a relationship in the long run. Instead, talk with the intention of fixing the problem and coming up with a solution that works for both of you. Remember that conversation goes both ways, and it's important to pay attention to what your lover wants and needs. 
you can then work together to find a solution that works for both of you and makes your relationship stronger. Viral Communication Strategies for Healthy Relationships Number 15. Set Clear Boundaries. Setting clear boundaries is an important part of communicating well in any relationship. It's important to know what's okay and what's not, as well as what your own limits are. This means being clear about what you want and what you expect and saying these things in a polite and kind way. It's also important to be willing to hear and accept your lover's boundaries. It's important to be clear and detailed when setting rules. For instance, if you don't like it when your lover raises their voice, you can say, when you raise your voice, I feel uncomfortable and insulted. Can we please talk in a calm, polite way? If you say your boundaries in a way that doesn't make you look bad, you're more likely to get what you want. Remember that setting boundaries aren't about controlling your lover. It's about respecting yourself and your own wants. It's about finding a way for both sides to feel heard and important. So, take the time to think about your own boundaries and tell people about them in a polite and helpful way. Your lover will enjoy how honest you are, and you will both feel more trust and respect for each other. Viral Communication Strategies for Healthy Relationships Number 16. Leave Notes for Your Lover. When you can't be with your lover, leaving them little notes can be a great way to show them how much you love and care for them. It's a small thing, but it can mean a lot to your relationship and keep the spark alive. You don't have to be an artist or writer to leave a note. A simple I love you or thinking of you can make your lover's day. Plus, it shows that you're thinking about them even when you're busy or far away. You can leave notes on the bathroom mirror, in their lunchbox, or on their pillow, among other places. You can also be creative and put a note in their jacket pocket or on a post-it note connected to their favorite snack for them to find later in the day. There are so many options. Leaving notes for your lover is an easy and cheap way to make your relationship more romantic and close. It's a way to show how you feel in a concrete way and make your lover feel loved and respected. So why not try it and see what happens to your relationship? Viral Communication Strategies for Healthy Relationships Number 17 Regularly check in throughout the day. Keeping in touch throughout the day is a great way to keep a relationship healthy. It's more than just sending a good morning or good night text. It's about keeping the lines of conversation open and making your lover feel loved and appreciated. One great way to do this is to check in with them often during the day. It doesn't have to be a long talk. You can just send a quick text or give them a quick call to let them know you're thinking about them. The important thing is to do it often and make it a habit. This will help you strengthen your friendship and keep it going. You'll also be able to deal with any problems that come up before they get worse. Communication is a two-way street, so make sure your lover is happy with the amount of communication you're having. It's not about sending too many messages, but about finding a good mix for both of you. Here are my final thoughts. For relationships to stay healthy and happy, people must be able to talk to each other well. The language of love, viral communication strategies for healthy relationships, gives helpful tips and ideas for changing how people talk to each other in relationships. By avoiding communication mistakes like sarcasm, put-downs, and disrespectful nonverbal behavior, and by using tips like processing our feelings first, thinking about timing, and focusing on both being heard and being listened to, we can improve our communication skills and strengthen our relationships. It's important to remember that communication goes both ways, and both sides must be ready to work toward a solution. We can create a culture of open and honest communication in our relationships by setting clear limits, leaving notes for our lover, and checking in often during the day. Don't forget that communication is an ongoing process that takes time, effort, and patience to learn. By using the strategies and tips in the language of love, viral communication strategies for healthy relationships, we can improve the way we talk to our lovers and make our relationships better and more satisfying. As you work to build a better, greater version of yourself, be obsessed with your own potential. Make certain that the impression you leave on others is positivity, gratitude, and self-belief. Do you want to have a happier, healthier marriage or relationship? Do you want to become the greatest version of yourself? By subscribing to the channel and pressing the notification bell, you can be the first to know when I publish a new video. Please click the like button and share with friends and family. Here is your question of the day. Do you often say things you regret later during arguments? Leave your answer or any other tips in the comments section below to help this community grow. 
Thank you for taking the time to watch Under Construction.